new Pearl Jam, and it does not get any better than this. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's the CD Guy, Johnny Z here. Thank you so much for tuning back into the channel, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new Pearl Jam single, Running. Running is the second single released here for their upcoming album, Dark Matter. Personnel here on this track, of course, you have Eddie Vedder, Stone Gossard, Jeff Ament, uh, Mike McCready, Boom Gaspar, and Matt Cameron on the drums. This was produced by Andrew Watt. Getting into the track itself here, this is a fast-paced, rapid-fire, high-energy track. Um, you know, definitely some great drumming on display by Matt Cameron, and just from the two singles already, Dark Matter and Now Running, I can tell that the upcoming album is going to be a Matt Cameron-dominated record, which is a great thing. He's a fantastic drummer. This song kind of reminds me a bit of a modern version of Spin the Black Circle from Vitology, or maybe a less harsh version of Lucan, so that's kind of cool, and this track definitely wouldn't sound out of place on an album like Vitology, or even, you know, I think even Backspacer, which is interesting. Two great albums there, in my opinion. You know, it's definitely a fun track, but I don't think it's nearly as good as the lead single dark matter one thing eddie vetter's vocals here are a bit unintelligible at times which you know isn't surprising eddie's a mumbler but it is unfortunate because the production is so crisp here so i just wish his vocals were a little easier to understand and speaking of the production again it sounds great just one more nitpick here i wish the bass was turned up a little bit higher in the mix but other than that those are my only two nitpicks a really a solid song here clocking in at just two minutes and 20 seconds so it's short it's to the point but it's pretty hard hitting as well kind of punky I would say for Pearl Jam, which is interesting, but I dig it. I enjoy it quite a bit. And no doubt, Andrew Watt is bringing out the best in the band that we have not heard in many years. So I'm gearing up for probably what's going to be the best Pearl Jam album since Backspacer. Still a lot of album left to hear, but I'm very excited based on what we've heard so far and uh, what we're going to get on this album. So I'll be reviewing it here on the channel. I'll be covering all of it. I've been covering just about everything Pearl Jam up until the release of Dark Matter now. So definitely stay tuned to the channel because I will be sharing my thoughts on the entire album when it comes out. But running very strong for what it is here. Could it have been longer? Yeah. Are Eddie Vedder's vocals a little unintelligible? Sure. Should the bass have been turned up? Absolutely. But other than that, very strong track here in my opinion and a lot of fun to listen to. Looking at the track listing here for the Dark Matter album, this is supposed to be the eighth track on the record in between Waiting for Stevie and Something Special. So one of the first impressions I got from this track was that it would probably make for a great album opener. Track number one is listed as Scared of Fear, but you know we haven't heard any of those songs that it's mentioned yet. So I don't really know how this album is going to be structured or how it's going to sound. But just first impression here, I wish that, you know, this would be uh, the album opener. Just, you know, feels like a high energy way to kick off the record. But it could, for all I know, it could be a nice change in sound and pace for side two. So who knows? There's still, again, a lot of album left to hear. But just an impression that I got right off the bat here is this would make for a great album opener or maybe even a live set opener in the future. So that wraps up this brief review here of the new Pearl Jam single running off their upcoming album, Dark Matter. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel down below. Turn on the bell for notifications so you don't miss a new upload because this is your one-stop destination for all things Pearl Jam pertaining to Dark Matter as we get closer and closer to the release date of the new album. So stay tuned for album updates, single reviews, things of that nature as we get closer to the release date for Dark Matter. Also, be sure to let me know down in the comments section below your thoughts on the new song. Do you enjoy it? Do you feel it's better than the lead single? And uh, what are your expectations going to this album? I definitely want to hear from you. And until next time, it's the CD guy, Johnny Z, signing off. Take care, everybody.